What happens to the youth tire once they serve their purpose? This is a crucial problem. When you throw them away, some become home of insect, others are bound. But in Nigeria, it's different. My name is Ifedola Poronshewe. I'm the founder of Free Recycle Limited, a pioneer waste tire recycling company in Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. And we're on the mission to convert waste to wealth while also tackling climate change. One tire contains 20 pounds of rubber. In 1800, Charles could die, accidentally dropped rubber treated with sulfur into a stove, and then discovered a source to harden materials called vulcanization. It made rubber stronger and resistant to extreme temperature, exactly what cows needed out of tire. By this, it increased the production of rubber in 20th century. The verdict is in on rubber. The enemy now has over 90% of the world's source then of raw rubber. Then the World rubber. War happened and increased the production of rubber for trucks, cars, and planes. Today's rubber is reinforced with metal and plastic fiber to make them durable and stronger. But no matter how tough they are, they don't trust for labor. By the end of 20th century, one billion of tire were found as waste. But this is not anymore a problem in Nigeria. This is a business opportunity for them to turn into bricks, gym mats, playground, slippers, bags, artwork, and many more. With this, Fedlapa is planning to expand her business to several countries like Rwanda, Kenya, Ivory Coast, South Africa, and many more. Thank you for watching. See you next time.